attention citizens, this is an Omega-1 priority alert. Potentially disruptive nonconformists are loose in the courthouse. Please return to your homes until the situation has been resolved. Have a nice day. Ja, die Cops suchen uns oder die Sicherheitsbeamten oder was auch immer das sein sollen. What we do now? Now we wait for the guards to clear out so we can make a break for your time machine. Hey, it's my mom. Hey, don't talk to her. She can give us away. Where is the DeLorean anyway? I had the wreck towed to my secret lab near Clayton Ravine. Clayton Ravine, as in Clara Clayton? Why, is that significant? Well, Clara's kind of supposed to be your wife, so, yeah. Fascinating. <laughs> Shouldn't we go help? Once we go back and change history, none of this will ever happen. I guess. What the heck was Edna doing to you back there? She was trying to rebuild my personality from the ground up, erasing the parts she didn't like. Harsh. <lacht> All right, Dad. Ja, sehr cool. Äh, George jetzt gerade aufgetreten, um seine Frau zu retten. Erinnert uns natürlich ein bisschen an den ersten Teil der Filmreihe. No offense, Your Honor, but why'd you marry Edna anyway? She's she's kind of crazy. Yes, now, but back when we were first dating. Her madness was tempered by an ironclad sense of right and wrong. At least, that's how it seemed to me at the time. Mom, Dad, no! They'll be fine. Once we repair the time stream, none of this will ever have happened. I guess you're right. Looks like the coast is clear. Great. Let's go fix the DeLorean. I'm afraid I'll have to do that without you, Martin. What? Why? Well, from what little I understand of time travel, if you help me rebuild the time machine, your presence in the repair efforts could cause some sort of temporal paradox after we return to 1931. So what am I supposed to do? Just hang out here in Bizarro Hill Valley until you fix the time machine? Exactly. But don't worry. If things work out according to plan, you won't even notice I'm gone. You know, for a second there, you sounded almost as confusing as the real Doc. See? We're making progress already. See you soon, Martin. Good luck, Your Honor. Okay, Doc. And you might want to stay off the streets for a few seconds. Doc Eilt. the street. Zur Reparatur des DeLorean. Is it Brown? Damn it. Okay, jetzt kann ich gerade nicht machen. Not coming back, you know. What are you talking about? Emmett, without me to guide him, he's almost useless. Before I found him, he was a miserable failure who never finished anything. But with me to inspire him, look at what we've built. Yeah, you've inspired him all right. Inspired him to turn Hill Valley into a bunch of uptight dorks. I wouldn't expect a delinquent like you to understand. You think you've inspired Doc? I'll have you know that without you, Emmett Brown is destined to build a time-traveling DeLorean and a flying time train. Preposterous. Emmett couldn't even build a dog feeder without me to guide him. Yeah, well he did that too. Not the only inspiration of Doc's life, you know. In my timeline, he married one of the sweetest women of the 19th century. Sweetness. Yeah. Emmett needs discipline to stay focused. He's so easily distracted. Okay, Your Honor. Starting to get a little concerned here. It worked! Ha <laughs> ha! One second I'm in the present. The next, I'm six months in the past. Amazing. Six months? 
It took you six months to repair the time machine? Six months? My family fortune had a sketchy deal with a gang of Libyan nationals, but it was all worth it for this moment. Ah! Emmett, don't do this. You need help. Oh, blow it out of your exhaust port, dear. Now that I've escaped into the past, your pack of divorce lawyers can't... <gasps> Mark, how long have you been waiting for me? A couple of minutes, maybe. That's curious. I set the repair time circuits to arrive only a couple of seconds after I left. Oh, well. I'm sure there's no need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuits. Here. What's this? Clothes for our trip. We can't have you traipsing around 1931 in that ridiculous outfit. Wait, our trip? You didn't think I was going to let you erase the worst mistake of my life without my help, did you? Fine! Leave! Ja, tun wir. Ein ätzendes Weib. Ja, hat geklappt. Wir konnten flüchten. Time circuit set for August 26, 1931. You ready to go, Your Honor? Call me Doc. This is where I last saw him. You, teenage you. You were headed this way, arm in arm with Edna. Oh, luckily, my erstwhile wife was never the type to kiss on a first date. If we work fast and stay focused, we can see to it that there, I mean, um, uh, our relationship never moves beyond the hand holding stage. Well, will you look at that? The old town theater. Uh huh. I haven't thought about this place in years. The missus made me tear it down back in '71. Said the movies were corrupting the younger generation. It was all nonsense, of course. I spent countless evenings here in my youth, and it never turned me into a hoodlum. Say, remember Public Enemy? Why, you dirty rat! No good yellow belly stool. Never did manage to see Frankenstein, though. But you're going to. That's what we're here for, remember? Right, of course. The film that was supposed to set off a chain reaction in my imagination, inspire me with a notion that would launch my scientific career. You've still got no memory of what that notion was? Well, how could I? It happened in the brain of a different Emmett Brown. An Emmett Brown now erased by the shifting sands of time. Luckily for us, I do know something about my own brain. Having lived in it for the past 70 plus years, once we get my younger self re-inspired by that movie, nothing will distract him from his proper... <gasps> Great Scott, will you look at that? The town square? It's just like I remember it, only dirtier. Oh, the old courthouse. Come on now, Doc, you need to go huh? inside and check it out. First rule of time travel, Doc. Never allow your other self to catch sight of you. It could cause reality to collapse or something. You mean? <laughs> right behind you. Don't peek. Go on. I'll let you know when you're gone. And don't forget your Carl Sagan. The billions and billions guy? The suspected arsonist. Huh? Just go with it. Okay, äh, Doc haben wir in Sicherheit gebracht. Jetzt gehen wir zum jungen Doc. Ähm, aber ich nenne ihn ja, wenn er jung ist, Emmett. Ähm, flitzen wir mal zu ihm rüber, gucken mal, was er so zu erzählen hat. Harry, you do show up at the oddest moments. Where have you been hiding? Oh, you know, here and there, you're a little hard to pin down yourself. I went looking for you last night, but I believe I was off entertaining a beautiful lady. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I never really got a chance to thank you. Well, I'm sure you would have escaped Kin on your own. Yeah. Oh, sure, I'm grateful for that, but no, I'm talking about Edna. It's funny to think of now, but until that crisis, I actually thought Edna and I disliked one another. <laughs> Imagine! Ja, 
Yeah, well, sometimes first impressions are right. The thing is, you shouldn't let Edna distract you from, you know, the business at hand. Finishing your project for the expo and going to see Frankenstein. Oh, pshaw. I'm far too busy for movies these days. But, uh... And as for my project, it's practically done. The rocket car? The rocket car? Boy, are you out of date. I've junked the rocket car. But... More trouble than it's worth. I'll never figure out a propulsion system that does what I want it to do. And besides, its social utility is practically non-existent. Ja, toll. Äh, wieso denn das Raketenauto jetzt verworfen? Was hat er denn stattdessen erfunden? Oder, oder konzipiert oder gebaut? Social utility. Since when do you care about? The mental alignment meter is a much more worthy project. The what? It was Edna's idea, and she's really been cracking the whip to get me to complete it in time for the expo. Damn it, I'm a little confused here. Natürlich steckt Edna dahinter. What day is it? Why, it's opening day. The opening day of the expo. Which reminds me, I'd better skedaddle back to the lab. If Edna catches me dawdling, there'll be heck to pay. Catch you around, Callahan. October 12th. Doc? Oh man, was ist da passiert? Wieso ist es denn schon so spät? Äh, wir hatten, glaube ich, in die... Zeitleitung des DeLorean irgendwas mit August eingegeben, August 31. Jetzt ist es der 12. Oktober, äh, der 12. Oktober 1931. Da stimmt doch was nicht. Come to think of it, it is a bit brisk for August. Oh, we're two months late. The expo's about to start and Teenage U is already in over his head with Edna. I always did have a tendency to plunge into things. Let's plunge into the DeLorean and get to the right date. No, it's far too risky. Remember how I was late picking you up in 86? Yeah. That should have been a tip off. Something is horribly wrong with the time circuits. And the problem appears to be getting worse. If we try to jump now, we could find ourselves stranded in a Cenozoic age. Oh, or worse, the Mesozoic. Then we're stuck? For the time being. I'll look into the problem and see what I can do. In the meantime, you can go to work on the other problem. Right. I'll go to the lab and see if I can talk teenage you out of... If young me is already as infatuated as you say, you're not going to be able to talk him out of anything. Believe me, I remember. Better to focus on a more clear-headed half of the couple. Edna, where can I find her? Where do you think? I'll drive. The DeLorean should still function adequately as a means of conveyance in the first three dimensions. Oh man, was ist mit der Zeitleitung los? Da scheint was ganz, ganz im Argen zu liegen. Äh, sehr ungenau was die Zeitreisen anbelangt. Deswegen können wir jetzt nicht nochmal durch die Zeit springen. Das wäre zu gefährlich, wie Doc gerade schon sagte. Okay, jetzt müssen wir mal gucken, ob wir irgendwie an Edna rankommen. Hier bei der Hill Valley Science Expo, oder wie das hieß. My soon to be ex future wife is nothing if not predictable. Do I really have to talk to her? I mean, couldn't I just hang out until you fix the time circuits and... I'll talk to her. You better get the DeLorean out of sight before someone... Hey, you! Quit blocking the drive! All car of the future contestants need to report to the North Tent! Why not? Good luck! Okay, okay. Then gucken wir uns mal um. Oh, Edna, da steht schon, da können wir schon mit ihr interagieren, aber ich glaube, das heben wir uns bis zum Schluss auf. Arthur, den kennen wir doch. Hey, Artie. Officer. Officer? Oh, right. Don't blow your cover. Will you please keep your mind on the task at hand? Can't talk right now. Okay. Edna, die junge Edna steht da noch. Hier, der Typ. Den kennen wir noch, der hat in, ich glaube, Kapitel 2 war das, äh, als wir in der Kneipe waren oder Kapitel 3, nee, Kapitel 2, äh, wollt, ist er auch auf uns, auf uns losgegangen, weil er dachte, wir hätten seine Freundin angemacht. Hey, excuse me. Yeah? When does the expo Not open? Not tonight. Anybody without official business here, please get off the grounds. You got official business here? Yeah. Well, stay out of the way of the workers. You look familiar. Do I know you? Uh, nope. Ja, ja, du kennst mich eigentlich, hast mich am Gott sei Dank vergessen. 
Äh, Lastwagen. Da interagieren wir auch nochmal mit. It's not as nice as my truck back in 86. Jeez, I hope I still have a truck back in 86. Ich auch. Okay, das war schon. Ich dachte, hier sind noch mehr Leute. Was ist das denn hier? Straße? I should really talk to Edna before I go anywhere. Ja, ja, ich wollte auch nirgendwo hingehen. Ja, aber das war schon. Dann können wir nur noch mit Edna sprechen. So sehr ich mich auch dagegen sträube. Spell it B R O W N. It's not exactly an obscure name. I still don't see it on the list. I'm sorry. Oh, for the love. Let me try this one more time. This is the Hill Valley Science Expo, right? First annual. Indeed. The purpose of our fair is to showcase cutting edge technology. That's right. And to burnish Hill Valley's reputation as a forward thinking community. And yet, you want to exclude the maker of the most revolutionary breakthrough of all. It's not that I want to, but. Oh, dear. Mr. Callahan, you do pop up at the oddest times. What are you doing here? I need to. Whatever it is, I hope you don't have to deal with Mr. Stonewall here. His sole function seems to be preventing people from accomplishing their business. Honestly, with him keeping the books, it's a wonder the Tannen gang got as far as they did. Uh. Have you seen Emmett? Yeah, just now, in the town square. Oh, then you've heard all about his big breakthrough, the mental alignment meter. Isn't it exciting? And to think, he didn't even realize the import of his discovery until I pointed it out to him. I've never known anyone like him, so oblivious to his own potential. I kind of wanted to talk to you about Emmett and his potential. Funny, I didn't spot it myself at first. In fact, for the longest time, I thought I didn't even like him. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, those gut instincts are important. If you disliked him right off the bat. Oh, but I didn't know him then. Now I know him inside and out. Yeah, but... I appreciate your concerns, Mr. Callahan, but I can take care of myself. I know what I'm looking for in a man, and it so happens Emmett fits the bill to a T. That's Emmett Brown. Rhymes with clown, which I'm beginning to think you are. Just a simple mix-up, I'm sure. I've no doubt of that. Ja, also da kommen wir nicht, nicht ran. Also äh, das ähm, gute Zureden von wegen der erste Eindruck zählt, ähm, ja, hat alles nichts gebracht. Äh, sie lässt nicht von ihrer Verliebtheit äh, in Emmett ab. Man, gut, wir wissen ja gar nicht, ob sie tatsächlich verliebt ist oder ob sie ihn tatsächlich nur manipulieren will. Das könnte natürlich alles sein. Ist mir auch egal. Ich finde die Frau einfach scheiße. Egal. Wir schnacken jetzt nochmal mit äh, Emmett. Äh, nein, mit Doc. Also... Doc sage ich ja immer zu dem Älteren. Obwohl, das hier ja, das wird, ist ja ein bisschen verwirrend. Das ist ja eher Bürger Brown. Ja, nicht, nicht der Doc, den wir kennen. Well, I talked to her. And? She says she knows what she's looking for. And it's you. But it can't be me. It wasn't me. Marty, we don't belong together. You don't have to tell me that. Find out exactly what her requirements are. I can almost guarantee you that I don't fit them. Das ist doch mal eine gute Idee. Wir gehen jetzt nochmal zu Edna. Sie sagte gerade, dass äh, Edna alles das hat, was sie an Männern mag. Äh, dass Doc alles das hat, was sie an Männern mag. Und jetzt haken wir da mal nach. You said that Emmett fits your bill of requirements for a man. Yes. What would that list be exactly? You'd make a good reporter, Mr. Callahan. You know that? Well, his physical appearance for one thing. Emmett may not be Clark Gable, but he cleans up surprisingly well. I gave him my grandfather's white suit to wear at the expo. Oh, you should see him in it. He looks positively radiant. Looks good in a suit. Got it. And he's completely devoted to me. That's important. I've got no time or tolerance for playboys. Faithful as a Labrador. Check. Thirdly, and most important... Yes? Well, his mind, of course. It's brilliant, and it's virtuous through and through. His own mind map shows him to be a model citizen. Good brain, I see. And if it turned out that you were mistaken about any of these qualities... Say, what's your game? Just curious, just trying to understand the female mind. 
Well, understand this. I'm not some faint-hearted girl who'd run away at the first hint of trouble. I've made a big investment in Emmett. Not money, but I've sunk all my ambitions into him. I'd have to be thoroughly disillusioned before I'd call it quits with Emmett. Got it? Uh-huh. Now, Mr. Cub Reporter, is there anything else? It's rather hard for me to picture Emmett as a chick magnet. Chick magnet? A guy who gets the girl's, you know, motors running. Motors? Who makes them, y you know. You mean a chic? Yeah. Well, it's a matter of taste, I suppose, but when he's properly pomaded and decked out in my grandfather's white suit, Emmett just glows. Makes my heart flutter a bit just to picture him. <laughs> you say you know Emmett is a model citizen, but you don't know him as well as I do. Did you know he once cheated some Libyans out of plutonium? Plutonium? What would Libyans want with plutonium? I'm sure he had a very good reason. Emmett's mind map demonstrates conclusively his brain is oriented toward virtue. This one time, to power one of his science experiments, Emmett hijacked a train. Please, there hasn't been a train hijacking in Hill Valley since the days of Mad Dog Tannen. Emmett's done a lot of shady things in this time. My vice principal warned me to stay away from him. Your vice principal sounds like a dolt. Das fand ich jetzt sehr witzig. Ähm, Vizedirektor. Äh, in den Filmen ist es äh, Mr. Strickland. Und äh, Mr. Strickland ist ihr Bruder. Und den hat sie gerade unwissentlich einen Dummkopf genannt. So, ähm, auch Vizedirektor, nicht Vizedirektor. So, you say Emmett only has eyes for you? Absolutely. It's almost embarrassing how devoted he is to me. Well, it's good to hear he's finally settling down. Yes. Settling down? You know. Ready to stop playing the field, as it were. Playing the... Oh, you're joking. Ja, irgendwie glaubt sie nichts, was wir da versuchen. Äh, wir haben jetzt gerade äh, seine Reputation ein bisschen in versucht, ihn direkt zu ziehen, aber das äh, nee, lässt sie nicht so ganz zu. Das glaubt sie nicht. Ich kann sorry für ihn. Who? All of Emmett's other girls. Now that he's with you. Please, I think I know Emmett by now. There are no other girls. I wonder what's going to happen to Emmett's little black book. Little black book? Oh, it's legendary. That's what enabled Emmett to become the, uh, Valentino of Hill Valley High. Gee, I wonder if he'd let me have it. You must think I'm pretty gullible, Mr. Callahan. <sighs> what the heck is this mental alignment meter of Emmett's? Oh, it's an absolutely revolutionary invention! Measures a person's affinities. What he's attracted to, what he's repulsed by, that sort of thing. Interesting. And it really works? Well, of course. What's the point of inventing something that doesn't work? Or, anyway, it works well enough for my purposes. Nee. Okay, hat alles nicht geklappt. Ähm, ja, jetzt müssen wir uns gleich äh, langsam mal um diesen, um seine neue Erfindung äh, kümmern. That's diesen... all the questions I got. Very well, then. Dieses Mental Alignment Yari, Meter. You see my Orioli? You mean this? Yeah, thanks. She gets to come and go freely, and I'm forced to wait. I love it. Ja. Trixie Trotter ist wieder da. Ich finde sie ja total cool. Ich mag Trixie total gerne. <lacht> to all who approach these hallowed halls, I bid thee welcome. Oh. To all who approach these hallowed halls, I bid thee welcome. To all who... Oh, hiya, kid. Say, aren't you the fellow who... Got you to turn on Kid Tannen? You bet. You look younger without your mustache. That was a dirty trick, you know, making me think Kid had gone and iced Artie. I'm sorry, but it was the only way I could... Ah, uh, forget about it. I'm trying to. Yesterday's in the past. That's my motto. You gotta live for today. Right. So what are you doing down here anyway? Do you wish to pull the levers that control the future? Ah. Uh. At the expo, silly. Technology for a better tomorrow and all that. Oh, uh, yeah, that's actually why I'm here. Okay, quatsch mal ein bisschen mit ihr. So who are you supposed to be? Don't you know your Homer? I am Techni Muse of Progress. You can tell by the lightning bolts. Must have slept through that class. I'm supposed to be a goddess-like, 
I'm the one who inspires all the great men who make the discoveries. And women, too. Leave us not forget Madame Curie. I never would. So you work for the Expo? Yeah, ain't it a kick? I greet all the important guests. And on the final day, I get to bestow the golden sundial on the winning contestant. Techni, Muse of Progress. Not a bad gig. Artie got it for me. It's my entree into respectability. Listen, I've got a proposal for you. I have this friend, right? No dice. I'm only seeing Artie now. It's not like that. See, my friend's in a relationship with Edna Strickland. Oh, poor schmuck. I wouldn't wish her on anyone. Then you see where I'm coming from. He won't listen to reason, but I thought she might call it off if she thought he and you were, you know. Ah, you are an evil imp, ain't ya? Sometimes a guy's got to resort to underhanded tricks. What do you say? Sorry. Ah. Uh. Edna might be a pill, but if I play dirty tricks on every dame who disapproves of me, well, well, I'd, I'd play a lot of dirty tricks. Besides, such stunts are beneath the dignity of Techni, Muse of Progress. Hm, okay, da hatte Harry eine ganz gute Idee. Ähm, Edna vielleicht eifersüchtig machen, äh, weil Edna ja sagte, sie mag, dass Emmett so treu ist und andere Frauen für ihn keine Rolle spielen. Und Trixie Dias an Bord zu holen, äh, ist eigentlich eine ganz gute Idee. Vielleicht schaffen wir es ja irgendwie noch, ähm, dass sie zustimmt, Edna diesen, diesen Streich zu spielen. Look, my friend Emmett really needs help. The one who's going out with Edna Strickland? You're darn right he needs help. I'm not asking you to actually seduce him. Just make her think that you two have a thing going. It'll drive her crazy. <laughs> I guess it would. So? Uh-uh. I wouldn't do that to another girl unless I was good and mad at her. And besides, it might tarnish my image as a muse. Okay, jetzt hat sie uns einen Tipp gegeben. Sie würde das keinem anderen Mädchen äh, antun, es sei denn, sie wäre stinksauer aus sie. Look, my friend Emmett really needs help. Versuchen Sie einfach noch mal. Ach, das ist derselbe Text. I'm not asking you to actually seduce him. Just make her think that you two have a thing going. It'll drive her crazy. I guess it would. So? Uh-uh. I wouldn't do that to another girl unless I was good and mad at her. And besides, it might tarnish my image as a muse. So, Artie's working for the Expo too, huh? Oh, Artie's doing swell. The papers made a big deal of him testifying against Kid. People have been beating down his door ever since the trial. The Expo's darn lucky they could get him. How's Kid's trial going? Slowly. You know what they say. The wheels of justice grind slowly, but infinitely fine. Except in Hill Valley, where they don't move at all. What? <laughs> Nothing. It's just, you know, something I heard once. So no regrets about turning him in? None at all. I should have known better than to take up with him in the first place. But what can I say? I was dumb. I let myself get taken in by his charm. Charm? Whose idea was it to put a science and technology expo in Hill Valley? Heats me. Artie says it's all bread and circuses. But I ain't seen a single clown yet today. See okay. you, Trixie. From this chamber of wonders, we bid you a fond adieu. Ah, Trixie ist cool. Ich mag die Stimme auch so gern. Ich hatte ja schon mal erwähnt, dass die Synchronsprecherin, glaube ich, Melissa Hutchison oder so heißt. Und die spricht auch Clementine in ähm, The Walking Dead. Also in den Spielen von The Walking Dead. So, mh, Artie nochmal. Hey, Artie. Can't talk right now. Ah, okay. Also Edna. <clears throat> Back again, Mr. Callahan? What can I help you with? I was thinking. I found out about Trixie Trotter. Yes? Apparently they made her some sort of queen of the festival. Techni, the muse of progress. They didn't. Well, they said this expo would give Hill Valley a reputation. I didn't realize this is what they meant. What have you got against Trixie? It's the idea of it, allowing our city to be represented by a woman like that. I won't stand for it. As a socially conscious citizen, I demand you discharge that muse. Trixie? What's wrong with her? Oh, she's hardly qualified for an honorific post at a public event. Look, lady, she fits the costume, she's an American citizen, and she managed to memorize all her lines. 
What more qualifications do you want? Oh, these people are impossible. Rather hard for me to picture uh, him as a chick magnet. When he's properly he pomaded and decked out in my grandfather's white suit, and it just glows. Makes my heart flutter a bit just to picture him. That. Why do you want to get Trixie fired? One simply can't allow women like that to attain positions of respect in society. It creates a very bad precedent for the future. Does it? But try telling it to this poor sap. She's got him completely steamrolled. That's how they operate. Is it? Still, I could get her discharged if I had the goods on her. No doubt a woman like that has left a trail of scandal, and I'd find it if I were still a reporter. But I haven't got time to do the legwork now. I'm too busy with Emmett and our... his invention. So you wouldn't hesitate to get Trixie fired from her job? If I had the goods on her. She's obviously got her employer completely bamboozled. The only way to snap him out of his spell would be to show him something really shocking. That's all the questions I got. Very well, then. How about you? Have you got any questions for me? Uh, no. Then kindly let me pass. I am afraid I can't until I've located your registration form. Oh, this is absurd! So, damit können wir doch arbeiten. Äh, Edna will, dass Trixie gefeuert wird. Trixie sagte gerade, oh, jetzt ist sie hier gerade perfekt im Bild. Wir drehen uns mal zu ihr. So. Ähm, Trixie sagte gerade, sie würde Edna ähm, äh, nur vormachen, dass sie was mit Emmett hätte, wenn sie stinksauer auf Edna wäre. Da können wir doch mit arbeiten. Wir sorgen jetzt also dafür, dass äh, Edna sie feuert. Und dann ist Trixie sauer, wenn der Plan aufgeht. Dazu quatschen wir mal hier mit dem Typen. Q-Ball, den kennen wir auch noch. Hey, pal. Oh, jeez, this guy again. Funny, I was gonna say the same thing. That grüne Zähne. Should you be in jail with the rest of kids, gang? I was, but then an opportunity availed itself and I... Sang like a canary. I prefer to think of it as exhibiting an admirable sense of self-preservation. Will you be playing piano for Trixie later? Nah. Why not? Because Little Miss Goody Two-Shoes thinks she's too respectable for cue ball these days. Mm -hmm. Okay, die haben scheinbar nichts mehr miteinander zu tun. You seem kind of angry about Trixie. Angry? Listen, kid, me and Trixie go way back. I know stuff about her that even kid doesn't know. Stuff that curl your socks. Really? Oh, yeah. And now to see her flouncing around the place, making like her stink don't smell, it just, well, it just cheeses me off, you know? So what's so, uh, toe-curling about Trixie's past? Yeah, like I'm gonna tell you. Oh, come on. No. Tell you what, I'll tell you something embarrassing about me first. Like what? Ja, äh, alles Tatsachen, die wirklich passiert sind, äh, oder Geschehnisse äh, aus der Filmreihe. Fangen wir doch mal damit an. My mom saw me in my underwear. That ain't so bad. Last year? Okay, that's pretty bad. All right, Junior, you win. That was pretty embarrassing. Almost as embarrassing as this. Trixie. Is that Trixie? Yep. She's not wearing much. No kidding. She did a lot of these artistic postcards a few years ago. I got a whole set of them. Can I, um, have one? I don't know. You ain't gonna do nothing bad with it, are you? Hey, I promise, I'll only use it for the greater good. Well, okay. Have you heard from Kid lately? We're not exactly on speaking terms these days, on account of our varying degrees of incarceration. What kind of stuff have they got you all in here? How the heck would I know? Electro this, robo that, dynamo the other, it's all Greek to me. Ja, fragen wie immer nach seinen Zähnen. Hey, what's with your teeth? My teeth? Yeah, they're green. I don't know what you're talking about. Seriously, man, what's going on with your teeth? There's nothing. Nothing. I, I... Oh, crap. What's wrong? It's these. Dr. Frinkle's algae cakes? 
crate of them fell off the truck while I was unloading it, and uh, I just can't stop eating them. How was I to know they turned my teeth green? Well, the algae part might have been a clue. Please don't rat me out the Audi, okay? I really need this job. No problem, but you better let me keep the cakes. Sure thing, pal. Hang loose, pal. You talk funny, mister. So, jetzt haben wir zweierlei äh, Sachen bekommen. Einmal die Postkarte mit Trixie. Äh, wir haben im Austausch der einer, einer Peinlichkeit, äh, oder im Austausch mit einer Peinlichkeit, die wir Q-Ball erzählt haben, und zwar, dass unsere Mutter uns in Unterwäsche gesehen hat, äh, hat äh, Q-Ball erzählt, dass Trixie wohl früher mal für sexy Postkarten ähm, äh, posiert hat. So, und wir können uns natürlich vorstellen, dass im Brüten Amerika, äh, da wäre das wahrscheinlich heute noch ein Skandal, aber... Äh, Im prüden Amerika de, im Jahre 1931 muss das ja fast schon einem Weltuntergang äh, äh, gleichkommen. Ja, die Karte werden wir gleich mal äh, benutzen. Tut mir natürlich leid, jetzt müssen wir Trixie ein bisschen, äh, ja, äh, ja, was, äh, ich wollte gerade was sagen, aber das schickt sich nicht, das zu sagen. Wir müssen auf jeden Fall dafür sorgen, dass äh, Trixie ähm, entlassen wird. Äh, das tut uns natürlich leid, weil wir Trixie eigentlich mögen, aber es dient alles einem höheren Zweck. So, ähm, und außerdem haben wir Eigenkekse bekommen, äh, Eigenkuchen. Ich weiß, dass man die benutzen kann, nur als kleiner Tipp. Ich werde es jetzt nicht, nicht machen, aber wenn wir jedem hier auf dem Platz einen Eigenkeks anbieten, äh, bekommen wir eine Trophäe. Ich habe die Trophäen für das Spiel alle schon erspielt, äh, im letzten Durchgang. Äh, deswegen werde ich es jetzt nicht nochmal durchexerzieren äh, hier, weil sonst ja, würde das die Grenzen für, für meinen Let's Play hier auch... Äh, Sprengen. Ich will hier kein Trophy Achievement Dingsbums machen. Äh, aber ja, ihr könnt. Ich mach's mal exemplarisch mit einem hier. Ich glaube, dem Typen können wir auch so ein Ding, so einen äh, Kuchen hier anbieten. Weil er ja sowieso ein Blödmann ist, können wir ihm auch mal die Zähne grün färben. How about an algae cake? Yes, I am feeling a bit peckish. Mm. <lacht> Where the hell did you get that crap? The Expo. So. Ähm, ja. Warte mal, ich wähle das mal wieder ab hier. Äh, wie gesagt, ihr könnt jetzt hier rumgehen und äh, allen so einen Eigenkeks anbieten. Dann kriegt ihr eine Trophäe. Äh, wie gesagt, hole ich jetzt, äh, das mache ich jetzt nicht. Wir kümmern uns um die Hauptstory und die sieht vor, dass wir dieses Bild Edna zeigen. You might want to take a look at this. Why in the world would I be interested in... Oh, what have we here? Oh, Sir, Mr. McFly! It appears your muse has been inspiring more than progress. Trixie? Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing with a dirty postcard? What is she doing in a dirty postcard? I swear, Mr. McFly, if that doesn't convince you that Trixie Trotter is unfit to represent Hill I Valley... I don't need you to lecture me about who I can or can't hire, Miss Strickland. Trixie's darn good at what she does. I don't care if she was once... The winsome wench of Winnipeg. Her past doesn't matter to... Trixie? What is it, Audie? You know I don't like to pry, but what state did you grow up in? Province, Manitoba. Why? Not even an American. See, darling, the charter specifically states that the Expo's hostess must be... A U.S. citizen, so if you're really a Canadian... I'm being fired? You are firing me? I don't want to. Here, take it back. Well, I'm glad somebody's listening to reason. Let's talk. <laughs> 